South Africa is the country on the front line of the rhino wars right now. Last year, 448 rhinos were killed. In a normal year, South Africa has never lost more than 12 animals. So it's really scaling up hugely. The report is looking at the trade from South Africa to Vietnam. Rhino horn is being marketed as a cure for life-threatening cancer. People who are consuming rhino horn because it is socially a cool thing to do, they need to be addressed. And rhino horn needs to lose this mystique of being something that's trendy and good to use. In South Africa, for the first time, in the private sector, we are seeing white poachers who are using helicopters, night vision goggles, high-powered uh, weapons, sometimes crossbows, so that there is no sound made when the rhino is killed. We know there are couriers, some people recruited in Vietnam who fly into South Africa, 24 hours later are boarding a plane to go home, and in their carry-on bag, they've got seven rhino horns. Clearly, because of the high profitability, um, all kinds of technology are being thrown into this trade to subvert law enforcement and to maximize profits for the criminal syndicates. There are large immigrant Asian communities in Africa. Within these communities are criminal syndicates. Now you have people who are connected to the end use market at the source. And they are using their resources to forge alliances, to corrupt politicians, to pave the way for illicit trade to flourish. And that is what we are up against today. We need better law enforcement. We need better investigations, more use of scene of the crime forensics. Equally, transponders and other devices are being fitted into horns with the hope that they will be detected somewhere along the trade chain and help us understand how these horns are moving around the world. Right now, South Africa is throwing a lot of resources, a lot of manpower towards interdicting rhino crime, but almost nothing is happening in Vietnam. The government there needs to play a very active role in suppressing its local market and showing leadership on the international stage. I think we're in a race against time. I think we have seen in the case of rhinos where whole populations have been wiped out in a very short period of time. In my own lifetime, black rhino numbers went from 65,000 at least to slightly more than 2,000. That's incredible. Over 30 years I've worked in Africa, I've worked in Asia, I've worked all over the world, and I think every culture that I've been part of can be appealed to. We can get people to do the right thing. We just have to be dogged in our commitment and be prepared to walk the long road.